Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 7th of April 2020, just hours ahead of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall's 15th wedding anniversary, Clarence House shared this photo of their Royal Highnesses with the Duchess's dogs Bluebell and Beth. The photo was taken earlier in the day at Burke Hall. The engagement of Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles was announced on the 10th of February 2005. He presented her with an engagement ring that had belonged to his grandmother. The Queen's consent to the marriage, as required by the Royal Marriages Act 1772, was recorded in a Privy Council meeting on the 2nd of March. At the time, Prince Charles was the only member of the royal family to have a civil rather than a church wedding in England. The marriage was scheduled to take place in a civil ceremony at Windsor Castle, with a subsequent religious blessing at St George's Chapel. The venue was changed to Windsor Guildhall, because a civil marriage at Windsor Castle would oblige the venue to be available to anyone who wished to be married there. Four days before the wedding, it was postponed, from the original scheduled date of the 8th of April until the following day, in order to allow Charles and some of the invited dignitaries to attend the funeral of Pope John Paul II. Charles's parents, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, did not attend the civil marriage ceremony. The Queen's reluctance to attend possibly arose from her position as Supreme Governor of the Church of England. The Queen and the Duke did attend the service of blessing and later held a reception for the newlyweds at Windsor Castle. The blessing by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, at St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, was televised. On April the 7th, 2020, in her role as President of the Royal Voluntary Service, Clarence House released this photo of the Duchess of Cornwall in her office at Burke Hall, Scotland. Her Royal Highness got involved with a new NHS volunteer responder program herself by undertaking a check-in and chat over the phone with Doris, aged 85, who has spent the last two weeks self-isolating. On Camilla's bookcase behind her in the photograph, you can see a collection of her own personal memorabilia and books. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.